Hi there, Spitfire here with Game Mode 5, and today I am playing Portal, the original that started it all. Um, so here we are at the loading screeny thing with the menus and all that. Now, I've played Portal 2 single player, I've never played Portal 1, so this is going to be less of a guide and more of me just derping around trying to figure out what's going on. So, I do apologize and stuff, so, yeah. On the plus side, now we have the green screen and the face cam and awesome! So, let's go ahead and do this thing. We're gonna go ahead and start a new game. Chapter 1. Select that. Start a new game. Now, it's loading. You could probably notice a little thing over there. Okay, it's gone. Hey. This one ain't easy. Doesn't sound like, huh? <coughs> hey, I remember you. Ha! -ha! I'll put you in the toilet. No. You're getting put in the toilet. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We Hello. hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from... Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. Why does it seem like there's death? Ooh, and there's cake! Alright. So I go out here and... Yay! I feel smart! Hi there! Hi! I guess I'm gonna walk out here. Let's just go ahead and walk it. Walk it out. Walk it out! Walk it, walk it out! Oh. Okay. I see what's going on here. Gotta put this this aperture science cutie thingy. Excellent. Right there. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. Uh -huh. This aperture science material emancipation grip will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Oh. So I can't take the key with me. Okay. Okay. A one. Okay. Geronimo! Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. The hoopa, 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 doo. What? No, I'm stuck here. Oh, there's the button. There's the cube. Come back out here. Yes, there's the button. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock, as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. What? Prolonged exposure to a button? Lady, are you okay? Like. You, you, you sound kind of strange. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna drink some Pepsi Max. That's what I'm gonna do. Ready for another test. Let's go. You're doing very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. What? Having to wait for stuff. <coughs> I 
I'm not gonna get hit. Okay, so now I can come in here. I wonder if I can get that. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. <laughs> With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do what? not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... Should I what? Should I what? Tell me! That is freaky! I like that! Look at the little wavies! Okay, sorry. Uh, we're gonna... Wow. Ooh! Look at my feet! Look at my feet! I got little bouncy things on my feet! Alright. Seriously, though. I need to get out of here. So, I get to go through the Emancipation Proclamation Grill. Why? Why is it all shaky? I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. You go to heck. You go to heck and you die. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. Mind the gap? You know. I'm just gonna do this. Uh, what in the world? It looks like a, an office up there. Okay, so now I gotta get over there. I know I gotta get over there. Now how do I do it? How do I do it? How do I live in? Doubtful, and you ought to know. And fall! Well done. Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. Tested? What? I don't like that. that just the sound of that isn't good. I. I. Huh? Welcome to test chamber four. You're doing quite well. Okay, so that one's that one's static. That one that one's gonna be And it just fell out of there and then boom and boom. Once again, excellent work. As part of a required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. I am all on my own, cause I am a pill and stuff. Oh yeah! can do. How do I live with her you? And you ought to near. Really? Really? Boom! What you got to say about that? What you got to say about? As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will <coughs> stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. 
<laughs> Enhancing the truth. Is that right? I just want to do this again. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong at all with wanting to... <laughs> Alright, no, that's not doing that. Wait. Freaky! Alright. Are, are, are we done now? Here, somewhere. Yes, no, maybe. Purple! Yeah, I don't like this. What the heck is this? While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Please be careful. Unbelievable. You, subject name here, must be the pride of subject on down here. <laughs> Actually, you know what? You're not quite so evil anymore there, Gladys. I assume I'm still Gladys. This sounds like Gladys. Because I played the portal number two and then yeah, Gladys. Why is my arm all like... Like, I don't know. I feel robotic. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Good. Now use the Aperture Science Unstationary Scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Unstationary Scaffold. Okay, it's gonna move back, right? Yay! Why is everything? Why does that like look red? Like it's the inside of a toaster or something? And you're giddy. And jump. And jump. Please know that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. Followed by death. Broke it. My bed. And then I put that there. And then that goes in there. And then I feel smart. And I feel smart. And now I have to figure out how to do what now? I have to utilize this thing here. And now that I've done that, I have to utilize this thing here to go over. There. It, it, it looks like what happens if you mix, like, ketchup and mustard and something green, like boogers or something. Like, if you mix it around a little bit more, it'll just be brown. Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Enhance my testing experience. It's not a curse. So I'm in no danger whatsoever, right? Like, I'm not just gonna die at the hands of you. Alright. Pepsi Max break over. Alright. 
The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. About impossible. Hard. Sure. The Enrichment Center apologizes for this clearly broken test chamber. Let's see what this does. Once again. The Enrichment Center offers its most sincere apologies on the occasion of this unsolvable test environment. Uh -huh. You ain't got nothing on me. Put that down, be like, firm. And then be like, firm. Frankly, this chamber was a mis- Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Yes. That's okay. I've gotten used to it. I know all your tricks by now, Gladys. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I do. Michael Kane. Okay, my Michael Kane impression is still this. To reiterate, previous warning, the test was a little momentum. Boom! Snuggle! Okay. I didn't actually fall. Shut up! Spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. I will. I will. I will. Friggin' kick your butt. Wait! Momentum, a function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. <laughs> speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. And yes, I am a awesome dude person, cause the green screen is cutting me off all over the place. <laughs> I'm just, I, I just keep bouncing back and forth between being a little bit too red and a bit too green. It's like I can go like, I'm green. And it's like, oh, and I'm just everywhere in between. I'm not even doing that. Like, that's just. Okay. The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, another... the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. <coughs> There's another portal device here, dingy. The floor here will kill me. I'm waiting for you to turn that portal gun around. Turn the gun around. And I will do stuff with stuff now. No, 
fiddle foo, I did it wrong. Ah! Okay, so I'm dead now. What 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 happens now? I'm all dead, and I I'm looking around, and I should. Why am I I? I thought you said the danger was fake. Come back, woman. Okay, come on. Come on. Move your butt. Move your butt. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. Did I do it right? Did I do it right? I think I did it right. Yes! I did it right! Yes! Turn the stuff around. I like to do stuff. People. There's a button now. I didn't see the button. I should probably press that button. Yeah, no, sorry. I'm I'm not I'm not going that way right now. I gotta go check out this button. Because I didn't press the button. I should have pressed the button. Why didn't I press the button? Why didn't you guys tell me to press the button? I love that inspirational music. Turn the feet around, or walk on your hands, baby. Turn your feet around. Oh, come on! Man, I'm infinitely falling! Oh, come on! Falling! Oh, would you stop it? Falling! What the? Falling! What the? Falling! What did stop? Falling! I can't even get through the word falling without how I'm actually stopping the fall. Is it so much to ask? Really? Just to be able to fall infinitely? Infinitely? Just. Would you stop it? Stop it! Whatever. Hmm. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and call this episode quits. I'm Spitfire with Game Mode 5. Like, subscribe, comment, please. Another chamber for another day.